I agree with you. I think as soon as a, a black lady listens to smooth jazz, all her hair falls out. <laughs> she, just fucking, she goes bald, sleek, like bald, sleek, and hot. Oh, dude. And she just, just has like, it, out of nowhere, she's got like 50 very like clangly wrist jewelry things, bracelets, yeah. I think they're called, Bamboo in bracelets. the black community. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she's just clacking <laughs> while like talking with her hands yeah. at like a teacher Go, conference. It becomes like a literature, <laughs> like a high school literature teacher. Yeah. Just vibed out. Yeah. Does a lot of spoken word poetry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude, the smooth jazz shit's fascinating. I That blew my mind. That it, I butterly, I thought you were on to something, thinking it got absolutely Tiger Woods, respectfully. That it was just Kenny G, obviously. I think it's, maybe James. it's consumed by black ladies, mostly. That's what that album cover is all about. True. When, when you hear smooth jazz, when black women hear smooth jazz, there is a part of them that's like, I should get a loft apartment and just like make very intricate salads and just have a lot of opinions at parent teacher conferences. That's all that's all I can think about. <laughs> it's that's probably one part of it. Then there's also it was like the number one anthem of offices everywhere in the nineties. Mm -hmm. So it was like the only acceptable thing. Yeah. So that's that is kind of now that I think about that, the nineties were another hard PC period. So it's like True. the safest thing is just to turn on like but then you realize it's like, oh, this guy's appropriating jazz. Yeah, it, I hate it. it is the background. It is the background music for twisted. every CD ROM from the nineties. Mm -hmm. That's why Kenny G got paid so hard. Yeah. yeah, Boney James is more. That's a deep cut for you guys. You'd have to be a real smooth jazz head like really? myself to know about Boney James. <laughs> real smooth jazz brain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God damn it! Yeah, Kenny G used to send the Chinese home. Yeah, that was, that was a sick part What's of the that documentary. Mean? They would play a, a song by Kenny G called Going Home at the end of the workday in China. It was mandated. Mm. Yeah, all across the land. It was mandated. No, I swear to God, like we in, talked in about the, in this the rice before. rice fields and shit. I, I believe Man. we talked, unless I just have dreams where I talk about stuff on the podcast dude. and I don't. But I, yeah, yeah, dude, that was a song. They, it was an official song oh. they would play in China. So his song got, I don't know if, it's like, I don't know if a government has to buy it, but it was like, that was their closing time. That was their closing <laughs> time. It just, everywhere you're at, every day it came on, and it was basically the Chinese government being like, go the fuck home right now. It was probably actually like, uh, like you know the IP theft, everything? It was probably like a Chinese knockoff of Kenny G. Probably wasn't the, there was no way it was the real thing, dude. <laughs> there was a guy with his daughter. He was like, she was blasting uh, Kenny G on a clarinet, and he was like, I've been training her her whole life for this. And she was just, Burr. so yeah, I mean, that's it's not hard. Yeah, they would you just got run, a lot run on of the treetops. Yeah. Home. You're in China. You got a lot of kids who are like ripping oboes and stuff perfectly. Yeah, they have an oboe and child surplus. <laughs> <laughs> that is a funny. Uh, I wish I had that kind of trope going on where it's like, you know how my parents are. They're just pushing me towards excellence ruthlessly. It's like, I didn't oh, yeah, I could use some of that. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been nice. man. <laughs> yeah, it would be way, way nicer than what I got. They're just disappointed that I'm not a doctor. My yeah. parents are more like. Get a, a job. Yeah. It wasn't very specific. It was like gain employment. And yeah. I, like, yes, I kind of regret that my dad thought that was like the end all be all. Dude, that's, my parents were like, if you get a job, like you're basically done. Yeah. If you can get a job, you're done. Yeah. That was it. And they were like, they were like impressed. And like, I remember like I started making $20,000 a year. And my dad was like, oh, thank God. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, I don't know, man. I feel like we're going to run out of food all the time. <laughs> yeah. a boy. Yeah. That's my son. <laughs> it is twenty thousand dollars, though. I would love not it. at once. I know it's over a year. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get a job. I do want to get a job at McDonald's and be like, pay me at the end of the year, <laughs> <laughs> and just get a lump sum. <laughs> be like, <"Woo> <laughs> just try to survive. I'll just, I'll just like you know, figure something out in the meantime. It's like sixty five hundred dollars after taxes. <laughs> Two tax returns. What's up? <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm still recovering from long COVID. People, yeah. There's people who are like pissed it got me as bad as it did. 
What do you mean? Just being like, what the fuck, dude? He's being a pussy. It's like you got cocked by COVID. I wish. Yeah, I, I wish. Asian parents. They're disappointed. I do have Asian. I have yeah. online Asian parents for sure. <laughs> for sure. There's a few. But I, I wish. I wish it didn't. You they know? want respiratory excellence from you. Nothing less. I was trying to be a slave to the narrative the whole time. I was like, yeah. this is nothing. And have I, you been taking NAC? You got to take NAC. What's NAC? It's like uh, an amino acid supplement you take, and it helps. It fixes your breathing after. What? COVID. Yeah, dude. I had I had like uh, lemon lime fluids coming out of my sinuses not even like mucus it was like i was breathing and then i would hear like a gurgle in my in my like up behind my eyes what? i was like whoa what was that and then i would start to taste a weird thing and then i would launch out it was fluid i got the weird taste there was like every now and again where i'd get yeah, like dude. the i felt like uh covid has a taste you got rocket snots uh, yeah there's like a taste that comes down it almost you no know, sector for mortal Kombat. <laughs> yes I, I got like sector saliva <laughs> you, sector, you, get, like, you get like robot <laughs> saliva and you're like what the fuck is that stuff yeah, you get the web dude yeah I Man. might have had Scepter, Sector's web pop out of my chest, dude. That's all I'm, oh. coughing, I'm coughing up Sector's web. Wait, what did it taste like? It almost tastes like industrial, dude. Like there's like a and yeah, I, I'm it was telling a new you, flavor. It's like there's it was a new snot. twist on an old classic. Yeah, there's <laughs> snot, you know. You, you know when you have snot coming down. Yeah, this tasted like snot mixed with a little bit of like WD forty or, or like something. a ground up Tylenol almost. Something. It's chemically. It's weird. I remember like it would like and it rushes down the back of your throat and you're just like. Ugh, yeah, the fuck is that brand new brand brand new taste experience? I've never had it before. Yeah, dude. Damn, it's the bio. I'm curious. It's a, dude, yeah, it was. Yeah, that was when I knew. I was like, this was grown in a lab for sure. This was a weapon. Yeah, we also, by the way, we're like suspended off of YouTube right now. Oh, I mean, it's it's for, we have. It's not your. Nah, fault. No one's even gonna see this. Who cares? Yeah, we're gonna. <laughs> this will be on a separate channel, dude. Put yeah. up on the Patreon. Put this on Getter. Public. The what? Getter. We wouldn't have to, dude. Someone's on our ass. Someone fucking kicked us off. Well suspended us from a video from like 2020 someone's on our ass and fucking nitpicking us so we might ha we might have to you have any suspect hey patriots we might have to go to patriots. rumble it's time to activate we might have to go to rumble patriots <laughs> <laughs> we might have to go to chatter i don't know what what are the hot what are the sick uh underground video sites right now i don't Band know that video huh Band video. Band video is video is the Band ultimate video. that's valhalla dude that's where all the true dogs go after they create so much content, dude. They get kicked off from Nine Sandy Hook, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't touched upon that yet, but I will. No. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, dude, we got someone on our fucking case, dude, causing a problem. So we'll see what happens. I, I, I have, It's funny. They like, uh, Gardini was like, yeah, I think your, our YouTube channel's down for a week. And I was like, I'll get around to sorting that. I haven't done anything about it yet. But I'm gonna... <laughs> You're grounded. Grounded, bro. Oh, we're up. Can we up? We're still up. We just can't upload. We're in timeout. We can't upload till Friday. No, oh, maybe we'll just put this up on Friday. Yeah, we could do that. Put the audio What if we get a tomorrow. good report card? Can we get out early? Yeah. Uh, get time out on good behavior. Dude, it's crazy how they can do that anonymously. It's they crazy, should, dude. They have to show themselves. I, they kind of, well, it depends. For copyright, they do have to show you like their email address. Mm-hmm. This, I don't know. This is like, apparently... I this might be automated. I don't know. It might be, is, because yeah. if you... The thing we read, if you disagree with the WHO, they can strike you down. Uh, it's a weird territory we're getting into. If you disagree with an institution, it's like, what if they're fucking wrong, bro? What, wanna, if, what if they're wrong about one thing? I want a trial by combat. True. With the WHO. Dude, WHO, name be. your champion. Did you ever hear about the doctor... That would be sick. Did you ever hear about the doctor... I think his name was Semmelweis. He was the guy who... Discovered germs before Louis Pasteur. <laughs> I just read a book about people in Paris, so now I'm like totally French. But it was before Louis Pasteur did uh, the germs. There was a guy Semmelweis who was he was a doctor, and he was working in a like I, like wherever you deliver babies, like a, a nursery ward or whatever. Fucking delivery ward. Delivery ward. There's a word, bro. A maternity ward. I'm more of a science guy. I don't know all these words. Maternity I'm word. just yeah, I yeah. just I'm pure like binary. But yeah, sure, <laughs> so he back then they called it delivery ward. Maternity. The word wasn't invented yet. I think so. they called it the fucking bitch box yeah, back then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm working at the bitch box, dude. But it was like I think 25 percent of women were dying in these. He was in Austria. And this is, I guess, in the whenever before people knew about germs, like mid 1850s, whenever maybe it was early, I don't know. But he was like, "Dude, how come at this one place none of the ladies are dying, and all the other places, all the other bitch boxes, 25 percent are checking out, and they're all showing the same symptoms?" So he's like, "I got to figure out what it is." He tried like laying them on their sides and doing all this other stuff. Tried telling them to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys shut up? This is fucking in your heads. 
You're not dead. <laughs> I tried telling them that their enemies were fat. I tr I've tried everything that I can to help these fucking women. They keep dying. Dude, so what? here's what he figured out. So what they were doing in, like, you know, I guess this was like a general, like, medical center. Because the doctors were doing autopsies. So they would do autopsies and then just be like... And then go, they would cut a dead oh, body up. Oh, man, like you're closing Cinnamon Toast yep. Crunch. You and then, and then exactly, <laughs> just be like, done with that. And then they'd go deliver a baby, and they would transfer dead people germs into a woman's vagina. So he figured this out. It was autopsies, and he said, look, after you do an autopsy, you got to rub your hands with, like, lime and, like, some other thing. And there's some shit on dead bodies that we're putting into girls' vaginas and killing a quarter of the women who come into hospitals to deliver babies. Dude, so this theory came out, and it, he he demonstrated it. He was like, "I have one percent of people dying as opposed to twenty five percent, and this is why." A Phil, prominent Philadelphia doctor was like, "Well, doctors are gentlemen, and gentlemen's hands are clean." And everyone's like, "Yeah, pussy, fuck you." I agree you. with that. Yeah, <laughs> Gentlemen's hands are fucking clean. Yeah, those he, pussies. They just have fight me. Do you think my hands are dirty? Vagina. Fight me. <laughs> he ended up getting kicked out of the medical community and died in an insane hospital. Which which one? The guy Semmelis. that said hands are clean, or no? The hands. The, the guy. The gentleman like, hands aren't clean. just kept being a kick ass doctor. He tried to invent washing your hands, and they were like, <laughs> "No, fuck." They were like, "Fuck you." That's for poor people. Yeah. We're gentlemen, and we don't yeah. have dirty hands. These girls are dying because they're dumb. It's, it has nothing to do with yeah. us chopping dead bodies up <laughs> and then delivering babies. This was, dude, this game, this was like maybe late 1800s. Yeah. Semmelweis, dude, he ended up fucking dying from a fucked up infection, dude, ironically enough. It's so funny to imagine a guy going to deliver a baby in the 1800s. And he's like, instead of like the glove down the arm, it's just. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> just be like, man, I just chopped up this dead kid. I just chopped up a dead mom. Oh, hey, here we go. Yeah. yeah pretty funny. That was, that was making me laugh. I mean, because th that is funny to to think that, like, if you're a gentleman and she's dying and she's clearly a slut. True. That was kind of the, that was the thing back then. If women would lose their mind, they'd be like, she's an immoral slut. Gotta be. <laughs> Imagine how she's dirty asses were back then. Oh, too. my God, dude. <laughs> I mean, it, was, it wasn't even, like, you couldn't even comprehend. When did they come out with toilet paper? No. Prods. Get on that. Dude, autopsies must have been sick back then, too. Just like True. cut up a person and be like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, dude, he's uh, also full of guts. <laughs> <laughs> is this, inv I have no idea what any of this is. Dude, this is gross. Jump in. 1857. 1857. Whoa. What were they doing before that, Noah? My fan. What did you do after you pooped before eighteen? I think it was probably like water, probably like a towel. Yeah, I think or you hit the like, river. Yeah, just like water. Just yeah, what was I, like a bidet. Everyone just look, wet cowboy down to a water source <laughs> after they're done shitting. <laughs> look up early butt wiping technology. Dude, it's all, there it's was all, Middle Eastern countries. Hand. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You only you, you there was a in Lebanon. They keep a pitcher above the toilet, and you're supposed to like splash in your left hand and just like throw water in your ass, like just mm. non bidet. It's like. Proto -bidet. Manual bidet. Manual bidet. And then you in, in Lebanese culture, you don't touch it. Your left hand's your shit hand. Well, right. self, so you self eat, fly. Yeah, you don't touch people with your left hand. It's considered like a really fucked up. What'd you say? Self fly. Self fly. <laughs> yeah. Classic. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, dude. <laughs> Why don't you chill out? <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? What do you guys uh, No, so are you fucking stoned? Look a little, but not really. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I came here to honor my family. What are Dude. you doing? <laughs> it's like me too, bro. Running the construction <laughs> site. Uh, early Americans used dry corn cobs. What? Yeah. What? Like after the kernels were out, it's like, you know, it's like kind of like the soft, like husk that stays I know in the what cone. a corn cob is. Yeah, and they just like fuck it. Did they stick it in their butt or cheese no, grate their butt hole? The, I think they cheese grate their butt hole with that. Husk what, husk you think it was like one insertion, a turn, and then back out? That's what a corn husker is. Like That's a gay plunger, as hell. Yeah. They would never. So they used. Expi oh, Corn cobs, man. they would use leaves, handfuls of straw, seashells even. What? Yeah. And then when paper became more uh, prominent and expendable, they began to use like newspaper catalogs and like Dude, magazines and shit. That's that's what my, uh, the one, the guy who ran a place that fixed forklifts, he did not forever. He didn't have toilet paper in the place he worked at. Everyone had to wipe their ass with a newspaper. Page of a magazine. Yeah, page of a magazine. Newspaper. Cool. He held it down like that forever. Now, in his family, they're like, toilet paper is for fucking pussy. Scam, dude. <laughs> Use a lady's face. Use a perfume ad on your ass. <laughs> yeah, it hurts at first, but you get pretty callous really quickly. <laughs> I was telling Sid, that was my mom's whole philosophy. 
Yeah. She won't. She would never let us use soft toilet paper. Dude, I'm not. She was I, like, you got to use hard toilet paper because you got to be ready if you go somewhere that doesn't have soft toilet paper. I have the so softest she can, butthole. She, pff, dude, my mom built me for the road, dude. Dude, I was complaining about toilet paper the whole, whole time. time. The whole time we're in. Yeah, dude. We're just crying. That is something I would like to avoid doing ever. What? Of complaining about toilet paper while I'm on the road with my boy everywhere we go. <laughs> dude, I was just crying about my butthole the whole oh, weekend. Man. What kind of toilet paper do you usually use? I'm like three ply. <laughs> like Angel Soft? Like Angel Soft? Are you like Angel Soft, Charmin type? Uh, yeah, Charmin or Cottonelle. Wow. Yeah. I'm Scott. I'm straight up. Canadian I'm in, down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, in, I'm industrial Scott, dude. Yeah. Just yeah, give me man. like thin fucking, give me like rolling papers, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> I do like Bible papers, dude. That's why I wipe my Zigzag. Ass. Dude, I, but I, I roll it up like, like Winnie the Pooh. I roll it up into like a mummy fist and I'm fucking just unsatisfactorily wipe my ass. I got a, I got a premium bidet from Amazon. And it's, I, it's hard to go anywhere else. It's actually, you know how like, uh, you know how you get like a really bad like diarrhea cramp and you're like racing at home yeah. and you're driving really fast. I live for that now. I'm just like, yeah, I'm not, <laughs> that's baby, just, I'm coming home. <laughs> that's I, your Fast and Furious? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be a sick Fast and Furious gang. Just redlining just your asshole to get home. Just dudes with Crohn's. Like, let's get back to the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. You're like, oh, shit, I can't. And your car just flips over and explodes. Fuck. <laughs> he shit himself. But yeah, dude. That still holds up. If you're back. getting pulled over, you can be like, I got a shit. And I, I swear to God, I think 75% of cops will be like, get out of here, brother. Mm-hmm. Get out of here, brother. Yeah. You tell a cop you got a shit, they're just like 100%. Dude. That's always my plan. Yeah. Tell me you got shit. Especially if you have a kid, be like, yeah, my kid's shit in his fucking pants. That's the kid. <laughs> oh, cop pulls, I cop pulls you over, shit your pants. Be like, my fucking kid shit his pants. One time, my, uh, one time, <laughs> Ben was like eight at the time, and we were driving back across the bridge from going to see the movie, and he was feeling sick because he ate too much popcorn with synthetic butter. True. And he was like, oh, I'm going to throw up. And I didn't have any, I didn't have Easy Pass, and I didn't have time. He was, I live right on the other side of the bridge, mm. and I, I didn't have time to stop at an ATM to get bridge toll money sure and i got to the bridge i was like hey look man my kid's about to puke and i didn't have time to go to an AT. is there some way you could just like grab the plate bill he was like what you can do is there's a pull-off road over there and you can go back around and there's a wawa like five minutes back you can go to that atm and i was like whoa he denied dude. that yeah and then he like he had a state trooper like follow me down this path what so that i had to go back and get five dollars for the bridge what a dick, dude. Yeah, dude. So that doesn't work with bridge toll operators. I've had the opposite experience. I've had the experience where I just can't also. Oh, and then he puked on the ground in front of a Wawa. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've gone through a toll on accident when I was driving for Lyft and I was like, dude, I fucked up. And they're like, just come through. And I was like, thanks. Well, they have the uh, on that bridge. They have the barrier even when you're using Easy Pass. So you have mm-hmm. to stop. It comes up and then you go. Yeah, I didn't have an Easy Pass at the time. I was just like, yo. I fucked up and made the wrong turn. I had to turn around. Can I just come back through? And they were like, yeah, you got it. But they're also, they probably have no pity for people having to shit because they're in a fucking, they're just stranded all day. So they're probably like, yeah, he's got to shit or throw wow, up. I've had, that shit, like? yeah. I've had to shit and throw up all fucking day. <laughs> and I got to sit in this fuck. I can't abandon my post. I'm glad that's a job that I think is almost entirely gone now. It's dude. It's gonna, yeah. It's not gonna last very much longer. I mean, it, it, that's that's one you can say. You know, I remember the last time I saw a person in a toll booth. I see them every now and again. Park in the airport parking lot thing. The guy man. That's there. private business. I'm talking about on True. out on the highways. I think the PPA gets a fucking piece of that airport parking too. Yes, there was a big scam they did. Um, I remember this before the PPA. I think, or maybe the PPA had a ha- had their hand in it, but someone might. No, dad, they run the parking lots. They do. There, I think, slightly before that, or someone positioned in the PPA. One of my dad's boy's brothers got caught up in like a million dollar parking scam at the airport, went to jail. Uh, I don't know if it was a scam or if it was like a fake shifts. Like if you were like a big shot, they would just hire you as a fake parking attendant and pay you like $300,000 a year. Really? Something like that. But yeah, pretty cool hustle. This guy went to jail for like, he got in a lot of trouble for it. Good. Yeah. He that's got a it. criminal, dude. Uh, that's crime. P- fucking with, I, I fucked the parking. I took parking valor one time. I really? valeted. I valeted for this company. And I was supposed to give the valet service a bunch of money and like they were going to pay me. And I just kept all the money and left. How, how have you ever gotten a and, job? And then a second I, job. The refer- the, references yeah, you have. The next job. You make them up. Yeah. <laughs> you, just make, yeah you just make them up. I, I had like five different uh, resumes. 
for any different industry, I'd be like, oh, I have five years of experience in this industry. I have five. I just would make shit up. Wow. Yeah, man. And but you yeah. would heist. How how long into the parking job did you pull the heist? Was it like first week? First day. First day. <laughs> 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 and pretty much every job I had in high school ended with either. Well, it didn't even end. It would just be. And it would happen to me. It technically too. wouldn't start. <laughs> pretty much well i did have the candy stand i worked at a candy stand that was that was i was honest as they came on the candy stand but once the new owners came in they were fucking assholes so i go into i would go into vengeance mode as an employee as <laughs> soon as i had a perceived slight i'd be like okay and i would start stealing as much money from them as i could until i either got fired or usually i just quit i was like this sucks and i just quit what was your what was your favorite employment heist the parking thing was one of my biggest licks. I feel like it's a single day. Yeah. The parking thing was I sat in a club in New Jersey and just, I didn't even park the cars. I, it was too much for me. I didn't know how to drive stick at the time either. So I would just go like, yo, go park over there. And like, they were just palming me fives. I'm like, thanks. And then they would tip me. And I just took all the money because it was just me. I, that I This is why I got slighted. It was supposed to be me and another person. The dude who got me the job didn't show up because, you know, he was just getting kind of fucked up at the time. And yeah. the other dude, the manager tried to big dick me being like, bring me my, he tried to pimp me. He's like, bring me my money. And I was like, no, bro, <laughs> this like girl, this gal's that. independent. So I was like, I just never brought him his money. So he was like, bring me all the money so we can divvy it, divvy it up. I was like, or, and what I did too, I, this is actually really bad. I had everybody's keys and I just left early. So they all came out. Everyone had to find their keys on the boards. I just abandoned posts with all the money. <laughs> it was the Woodbine in New Jersey. Damn. <laughs> I was like, this sucks. And I, I had like 400 bucks. I was like, I'm going home. I just wow. left and I never had to come out and be like, I think these are my keys. There's just keys chilling on a board. So this dude it, never tracked you down. You never gave him your home address. They had, it was just my boy. They were like, yo, call one of your friends to help you work. And I showed up. My boy's like, yo, I'm not coming. So your boy got fucked. I mean, dude, he was not long for this job anyway. He no called, no showed. So he no called, no, he knowing he was no call, no showing was like, come with me. Oh, yeah. We'll do this job and split a couple hundred bucks. And he was like, yeah, I'm not coming. And I was like, this is bullshit. So you're I was like, like a, you're like an expert in low level heists. Oh, this dude. would be, this would be an incredibly terrible movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of it, I just bought like you a half pound of weed, and yeah. I was like, "My fucking efforts are complete. <laughs> now I take over." Do you ever think about like coming out of retirement for one last job? <laughs> oh man, I'm in the villa right now, dude. I don't. If, I mean, something could bring me out of retirement. You're in the villa. I'm in the villa. I'm sexy beast right now. In the villa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was the candy. The candy stand was a slow and steady. Just I was zapping, bro. That was like, I mean, that was they were asking for that. The, mm. the cash register was just a. No codes for anything. It was just like you weigh the candy, you eye it up, and you say, all right, that thing says $8. Let me type $8 in here. That was instantly like that thing says 8 I'm typing 2 Matt tax. And I would just do that. I, <laughs> I would stuff money in my shoe all day. I would, and I'd wow. work with other people, and I would just like, you know. Yo, Dude, I just imagine being his boss, and it's like, Matt, it, uh, I have a. I hate to even bring this up, but it looks like over the past uh, two years, you might have stolen $37 <laughs> from us. <laughs> oh, dude, I was, I was so, I was make, I was grounded at the time too, because I got in trouble for, I got paid $200, no, $300 to take the rap for alcohol for a senior. So I already had three hunch for taking a suspension. My parents are so fucking mad, dude. I took the suspension. Did they at least respect the $300? No, they told me, they're like, you didn't get paid for this, did you? We would disown you. Because I was like, I felt bad for the guy. And then in my head, I was like, I also made three honey, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so they were like, if you, my dad, I remember he was like, I know some guy who does this shit who goes to jail for money. He's a fucking loser, dude. He's like, taking the rap is fucking loser shit, dude. And I was like, fair enough, but I also have $300, dad. <laughs> <laughs> so I had three hunch. So when I was, so when I was grounded for taking the fall, then I got a job at a candy stand. Yeah. And when I was at the candy stand, that's when I, you know, the lady who hired me, I was faithful as hell. And then they fired her and the two new guys came in and were like, why do we have a dude here? Because they only hired high, like hot high school chicks. So the lady hired me and they were trying to fucking like edge me out. And I was like, all right, boys, we can play. You guys want to play hardball? <laughs> and dude, I was like, I would take 50% of their sales every day. I'd leave. I was leaving there with like a couple hunch every day. I was, I was killing. I was coming up off the candy game. Man. And then that's when after a while they they like stopped putting me on the schedule. Obviously they were like, hold on a second, <laughs> these sales numbers they fluctuate. passive aggressively <laughs> accused you of stealing. They never even said directly. Accuse, to didn't you. accuse me. They no. were just like, yeah, we'll call you if we need you, and they just they let it go. 
Wow. Maybe they thought you're actually, maybe they're like, you're right. Hiring a fucking brutish man did bring our sales down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that was sick. And then I had, then I went to Brewster's and that Brewster's a little more complicated, but they showed me the free baby cone button. So you had to like hit the buttons and it rung up everything automatically. Like, but if you give someone a free baby cone, hit free baby cone, it zeroes out the register. So if anything landed on a totally even number, I would go free baby cone. The register would open. I would take the money, hold my fist and like act like I was messing with bills and put it in. And if it was like someone got like a thing that was exactly 40 bucks, I'd go bingo. And I would take the, keep the 40 bucks. Sometimes my, I got greedy. I got sloppy towards the end. And my boys would, always do. My boys would come and they just wouldn't give me any money. I'd give them all ice cream. And then they'd hold on. I'd hit free baby cone, open the register, and just hand them money back. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that was a nightmare. I have a bad, I have bad employment karma. Yeah, so what is because I got slighted? If I got, if they didn't slight me, I'd be as honest as could be. Yeah. As soon as they slighted me, I say, "All right, then." You ever think maybe you're too sensitive for employment? <laughs> yes, I think so. I think so. <laughs> Especially imagine being 16 and be like, "I deserve respect." Yeah. If you don't respect me, I'll steal from your business. I would steal to the point where I wanted the business to go out of business. Right. Like I wanted to destroy them, not just be like, "Oh, sure. a couple bucks." I'm like, "I'm going to destroy this place," <laughs> because. I don't even know why Brewster's. I just didn't like being there. I'm like this. I can't believe they're doing this to me. This job is boring. Dude, I was so whack when I was trying to get revenge on jobs. What'd you do? I would just stop doing my job at a high level of quality. <laughs> That's actually kind of <laughs> sick. Though. That's kind of sick. Though. Dude, I was working at I was working at Wendy's and uh, this fat manager. She uh, she found out that my sister was a chick that beat her up in high school. So she started being mean to me. I think they have a thing for the handbook in Wendy's about that. <laughs> <laughs> when, if Nicole fucked you up in 88. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, so I stopped toasting the buns. Whoa. Yeah. So like if you if you work the if you work, you're the, taking them down. That's like one of the tr you're taking. Dude, that's absolutely taking a business down for sure. <laughs> for like people kept coming back <laughs> complaining about their sandwiches. because nobody People don't even know that you toast the buns at Wendy's. They just knew that the burger didn't taste right. <laughs> and they would come back and be like something's wrong with my burger. <laughs> yeah, because if you work if you work the first window at Wendy's where you get the money, yeah, you're also supposed to be you're back the there toasting buns the whole time. Well, you're supposed working. to ditch and then toast the buns. Yeah, you're constantly toasting buns. So I would just take the buns and take them from the bag and put them where they're supposed to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. Yeah. Got them. That's fucking. <laughs> Got them. Fuck them, dude. Got what they deserve, dude. Yeah. Dave was probably sitting there and his, they're probably like, Dave, something's <laughs> going on in fucking in his branch. Yeah, because Norristown you, branch or something up. You can't figure it out. You can't because like <laughs> they send out like the expert, like internal affairs guy <laughs> who shows up. The men, the men in gray suits came out. He <laughs> <laughs> gets all nervous. <laughs> what, are you, what, are you, what are you guys here for? I didn't, I didn't know corporate was sending anyone out. How long do you typically place the buns on a warm surface? Like, oh, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> the the, 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 the no, no, normal time from, from training. <laughs> Uh -huh. they, have like a, they have like a click, clicks a pen to write down each individual. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Dude, that toaster was sick too. What was it? Because it was just like a conveyor, conveyor belt. belt. And you would Dude. just like put them on the conveyor belt and then they'd pop out and you'd put them back together and put them where they go. I used to do that in college. I used to pre-make PB&Js and put them through the conveyor toaster and every now and again one would get stuck in there and I'd be like... <laughs> Time to leave. It's time to roll. Like, Dude, one time my dad fired me from a job over a conveyor belt. What happened? He uh, had a printing company or he worked for, I don't know, but he got me hired at a printing company and I was just doing silkscreen printing all day. So it'd be this giant like 5,000 pound machine and I would print like a binder with like whatever goes on it and then you'd throw it under a conveyor belt under a UV light dryer. Yeah. And the one material that he had his printing one day like kind of like bowed up. It wouldn't sit completely flat no matter what I tried. Mm. And one of them got stuck under the conveyor belt and started a fire. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, and some fucking loser-ass dude, like, just stood there. And I was, like, panicking. I, was, I had a small fire under an electronic device. And oh. I had to go to my dad. And I was like, Dad, I started a fire at your job. Please help me. <laughs> like, he was in an office, like, you know, doing whatever the fuck he did. Damn. Yeah. And then the fucking loser dude was like, I've never seen that happen before. Like, fuck off. Fuck like, this you, Before dude. I was fired, like, fuck off. Yeah, he should have helped, man. Suck my dick. He should have helped. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, yeah, the other thing I did at Wendy's when I was trying to take him down is I started telling everybody at the window who ordered chili how we made the chili. You told the secrets? I, I gave out the secret. So what they... So... The, the way that they would test the way that the burger. I don't get kicked off of YouTube again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Give me them secrets. <laughs> so when you're when you when they would test to see if the burger was done, they would take a spatula and you would cut off like a very small sliver of the burger to see if it was cooked. Oh god. And then that sliver you would push into the grease trap. And then at the end, like somebody would take all those burger slivers out of the grease trap. And that's what you ground up to oh, make the chili. Oh, that sounds so good. Yeah. God damn, dude. So I just started telling awesome. people that's how they did it. They would take a little bit of Frosty and go. <laughs> 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 Smokes up. <laughs> oh, that's actually pretty sick, dude. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Now and, you know. and it was like back and forth. Like some people would be like, ooh, that's disgusting. And other people were like, that nah. sounds oh, I'm going to come, dude. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't do that. laughs> Can I do that at home? Oh, how much of the burger grease gets in the chili? Uh, oh, dude. Yeah. Do I have so to pay extra now? <laughs> Damn, I might go to Wendy's and be like, let me get the chili. I know. I know how you guys make it. Yeah. <laughs> Let this one marinate, please. <laughs> are they all are they allowed? Yeah, I guess you can do that. You could store all the meats. Yeah. In the trap. Ain't no wrong with that. I mean, that's po- that's pre-COVID. So I don't think you're allowed to do that now with the fucking That's the old normal, know. dude. Take that up with new, Dave. It's a new normal, dude. Get used to it, all right? <laughs> can you guys please get used to the new normal? Stop belly aching about the Sorry. new normal. <laughs> I love that. That that phrase is brand new. What, Do your new grease traps wear a mask? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what do you say about that? Yeah, you just put a just put a mask on your grease trap. You're good. True. Fair enough. KN ninety five. I'm big on that. The N- the KN ninety five mask. I've been on them since day one. Yeah. I've been wearing them before. I used to walk around them before the pandemic. I don't fuck with fitted shit at all. What do you mean? You gotta, a, you gotta, a fit, you gotta fit yeah, Choose your words carefully, dude. Exactly. <laughs> Choose your words carefully. You get us kicked off, dude. If you're not oh, down bad. with fitted stuff, dude. My bad. You gotta be down with fitted I love stuff. Fitted. I love a tight fit, dude. You know how you test a good respirator fit? You go, if it collapses against your face, you got a good seal. Damn. And if I don't have that, I'm not going anywhere, dude. Wow. Oh, yeah. so, I make sure my kids <laughs> see me not wearing a mask in the Wawa. Do in the Wawa and I and they go, Dad, I think we're gonna have to wear masks. And I go. We don't. We don't have to. That's swag, dude. Yeah. And Doesn't I'm, every time I'm nervous, like, oh my god, dude, it's gonna be so embarrassing. If dude, it's like, it's like a, a fat lady behind the cash register is like, could you put a mask on? I'm just like, oh yeah, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I what I do now is if I get someone who like spazzes on me about the mask in a store, I always I get really polite and I go, of course. <laughs> of co- oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Of course. What That's classic that? dickhead stuff. Very classic. This is vintage dickhead. What was I doing? Think? I can literally go, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I, yeah. What was I thinking? I'm Call so them your sorry. majesty. Yeah. <laughs> I do it very, I don't, it's very slight. I don't go like, of course you're mad. I just you go like, ramp it up. You're like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. How could I be so thoughtless? <laughs> is there anything else I could do for you? <laughs> your majesty. That's how you have to do it. <laughs> no, I, I just go like, oh my, oh my, I'm. Of course. Of course. They're always like, what the fuck? <laughs> you get on both oh. knees, you prostrate yourself on the floor. <laughs> oh my God. Do you hand them something to hit you with? Mercy. Mercy. <laughs> mercy. I just keep walking like I didn't know they were talking to me. <laughs> it's just like, and then they were just like, I, well, he's black. <laughs> he can do what he wants. <laughs> You're not allowed to tell a black person twice to put on a mask. You're not allowed. You're not, no. allowed. I th- You're not really allowed to tell them to put them on at all. From what I've seen. Well, you can like, you can gesture to your face. You can like make a gesture. Well, typically what happens is if someone sees you without one, they take theirs and they just, ju- they adjust it. That's something I've noticed. They go. Yeah. Or they'll like throw their back against something. <laughs> and, like give you, even though you're 10 feet away, they're like, <laughs> like you're a, like a bad dog or something. I'm going for grandparent glory. I just so badly want my, to be sitting with my grandkids. Like, did you do any of that shit? And be like, fuck no. <laughs> Absolutely. I was gay. <laughs> fuck no. I, do, I used to work with guys that didn't believe in asbestos. It was the best. Whoa. Yeah, I remember we had a shutdown in a job. And the one guy's like, your uncle's afraid of the bullshit because he's a pussy. I'd be like, <laughs> nah, I think he's right on that. I think this is a good idea. Stuff's a real deal. Those guys love dying, though. You do get asbestos. I, there's, I've met like a handful of asbestos deniers that are like, bro, you're going to get it. You're going to get it. This is like back in the 90s. They'd be like, dude, it's not what they well, said. They were installing it and everything. Yeah. So we had it asbestos. probably seemed unavoidable. True. We had asbestos in uh, candy cigarettes. Candy cigarettes probably yeah. were asbestos. It probably did the smoke in them. Probably were. Yeah. We had uh, in our grade school, the library was just wall to wall. I remember the one day, like, you guys can't go to the library. It's all asbestos. But asbestos is fine as long as you don't break it up. As long as it's not, like, in the air. You could, if this was, if these were asbestos walls, fine. 
It's just the install and the de- and the demolish. Yeah, so I have a I have a basement floor that's covered that's half covered in asbestos tile. Nice. I'm working on stuff in my house. This is where I'm probably going next. Dude, I take I've chipped up asbestos tile. Bro, I'm sorry, it's I'm still crumbling there. every time I walk through the basement. It's friable. So now it's friable. Is it is that the word? Friable means yeah, if it's if it's like able to become airborne, you have friable asbestos. Yeah, I noticed it like on my foot the other day and i was like oh god i'm fucked i'm just tracking this into like there's a connected garage in the basement i'm just tracking this into a small room that i sit in every day to like work from home or or do like twitch streams and shit yeah you'll be i'm dead dude i've chipped up asbestos tile a bunch of times okay before they got like super like you need to hire like a strictly asbestos dudes with the fucking like plastic bug mask Dude, yeah. my dad would, hit, you know, if it's a DIY job and you're doing it one time, you'll be fine. Dude. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Just, Thank you know, you. just get a cool dump guy and be like, hey, I got some, you, you got a hot load. You got no, I would just throw out some at a little bit at a time and put it in the regular trash. <laughs> That's all you dude, can do. <laughs> I, dude, I microdose paint into my trash. <laughs> you can throw out latex paint now. Can you? Yeah. Well, this is strictly oil based. This is the most harmful stuff. Yeah, I guess. that's I tough stuff. That's they're not, they're not too keen on that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, if you take Dude, up- contractor bags, you can throw any, you can throw a car battery away in the regular trash. It doesn't matter. Oh, you can throw anything. <laughs> you can throw someone's head away. That thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, dude. Send. Just all you gotta do is you gotta. Next time the kids go away, you rent a, a tile chipper. You know, you just fucking and then you take one. You do a, it's a it's a rite of passage. You hold your breath, man of the house. Dude. Yeah. You just take the asbestos. Yeah. And if it, we said it's just part of the floor. I'll come do it with you. I want to yeah, die. It's not that much. I'll come do it with you. I kind of want to die. Spud got me to stop using paint or tape when I paint. I think you just got me to not use a mask while I pull up asbestos. No, in you, my you should wear. You should probably protect your face, bro. I was I'm a not big a pussy on the construction site. Me and, me and Matt are pussies, dude. We don't wear masks. On the All construction right. site, I was the biggest dust pussy you could imagine. I hate dust, dude. I hate it. Yeah. Anytime dust kicked up, I'd be like, uh, "Can I get a mask?" And he'd be like, "Yeah, here, here, here you go. dude." My right. uncles would wear them with no strap on the bottom. Your uncles had flap. to brutalize you over that. One time I asked for a pair of gloves to help pull a tree stump out of the ground. And my uncle was like, what, are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, we were, yeah, it's, we were in a place one time where it was asbestos. There's like, there's not just asbestos like tiles and floor. They have asbestos um, like insulation on pipes too. That's the one that gets you. Mm. It looks like a cast and you just hit it and it's just <laughs> turn, you know, the dust kicks up. But we there was like these windows with like asbestos caulk, and I remember it was just like they were running machines in the in the building. We couldn't break the windows out because they were asbestos caulked, so it was just like the the building was just blue with diesel smoke. Was this like the best material ever invented? Asbestos? <laughs> yeah, I think it was, was just this like the number one material ever. I think it was like hard as hell. Yeah, so it's probably cheap to make, and it was. I think some guy made it and was like. Yeah, I definitely want to sell this stuff. Whoa! Didn't they take an ingredient out of Four Loco? I'm gonna start. It's probably you know it's mean? probably asbestos. Is in asbestos Four Loco. is the original Four Loco. <laughs> it's what gets you fucked up. I think asbestos, like the. I'm gonna start using it. If it was so good, dude, like, like, dude, the government can't tell me I'm not allowed to use asbestos. True. Who I are want they? the sickest materials available? I think it, look up the properties of asbestos. Is it good? <laughs> I think Noah already <laughs> was. <laughs> it's, it, I think asbestos it, is sick as fuck. I mean, dude, yeah. imagine yeah. if you found out like tin foil. The fucking gave you pussies. Cancer. Imagine if tin you're like they're like oh yeah tin foil gives you cancer. You're like bro tin foil's shit. <laughs> yes, dude. tin foil's crazy. Never giving up tin foil. Tin foil is the fifth element, dude. Like, <laughs> no, I was I, thinking about that the other day, like how how disrespectful it is that we just toss out tin foil. It's it should be up. reusing it until it falls apart. That's not a bad idea. No, yeah. after you use tinfoil, you're supposed to make a really cool ball out of it and just throw it around for a little bit. That's true. Every single piece of tinfoil you ever use. That's still a reuse. Yeah. Like toss That's what I'm it saying. around. True, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just collect it. That actually is a good oh, idea. Oh, yeah. And then you just rub it around on a table for a really long time until the table starts to have like metal shavings on it. And you're like, oh, hell. You're looking at the smooth edge of the <laughs> tinfoil ball. You know what the fuck I'm talking about? Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. You're like, oh, dude, I've perfectly mirror polished this edge of the tinfoil ball. Hell that's yeah. that's how you this make might be a different. This might be a different mineral now, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I've tumbled this. Is this quartz now? <laughs> <laughs> what you got? Uh, asbestos is naturally occurring. Nobody made it. It's just like a, a naturally occurring silicate mineral. You're a fucking mm. chill, dude. There's six different kinds. You're, really? Yeah. It's a silicate. It's not material. even a drug, dude. Yeah. It's a plant. It's a long. <laughs> it thin, grows in the earth, <laughs> bro. It could be drugs. It's a it's a long, thin, fibrous crystal. That's how it grows. What? And they just, I guess they just like compact it to make like like tiles and. So you tell me, it's in the earth. It's in the earth. Asbestos is in the earth. Welcome to earth. 
What? <laughs> and then someone was like, were they synthesizing? Why did they give up on it? They could have fixed it, I'm sure. Because the particles are like... The you, silicate gets in your lungs. Yeah, but you know how they made... Slices you up. Remember when they started making like car glass different to make it safer? Just do the same thing for whatever... I don't know. What the yeah. Same, the same thought process. Completely non-friable. That looks filled. Yeah. Well, dude, uh, the asbestos... The asbestos like particle looks like a fucking medieval weapon. What the hell is that? That's asbestos, bro. That's the particle? It looks filthy. No, that's like what it looks like in nature. Yeah, look up... Oh, that's fucking wicked. Right. Look up a... Uh, look up a asbestos particle. From what I understand, I, this could be bullshit, but someone told me the particle itself is shaped like a fucking, like a spiked weapon. Oh, like yeah. shuriken? Look at that fucking Whoa. thing, dude. That's going to get in your lungs and get that you. That is cool. Yeah, man. Dude, I was a full-on dust pussy at work the whole time <laughs> with my dad, and there was a guy who claimed, he was total anti-dust pussy, and he was, that was a guy who told me, you're supposed to, as a man, you never apologize to anyone ever. Just <laughs> hand him a piece of candy. Very George W. Bush. <laughs> He's like, you just walk up and go. He used to work for this guy. Like, I used to work with Sam Jr. He never apologized. He'd come up, he'd be wrong as hell. Hand me a piece of candy. That's how you knew. You never, man never apologizes. I'm like, this is a horrible fucking. I like that. Just be like, just go up and use the N word at work. You're like, Here's a sugar That's daddy. Two pieces of candy. <laughs> Here's now a pack of king size Skittles, dude. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, man. That's that's how black people start getting diabetic in the early seventies. <laughs> <Just> being shot, <laughs> white dudes handing them candy. <laughs> yeah, a lot of office black grandmoms missing feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, that guy, he was dead serious. Like a man never apologizes. This is that was a level of consciousness from like this. We we skyrocketed levels of consciousness from like the sixties to now. Oh yeah, yeah, we never get enough credit for it. I, I mean, was just talking to Ansley about this the other day. It's funny to me how we don't give a shit like if a kid falls in a well anymore. We like, don't remember society I mean, used to stop. <laughs> like, do you don't even know when it happens? Like when minors get trapped and shit, we don't even know when it happens anymore. Society used to stop when that happened. We were all be like, did they get out yet? Yeah, mm. dude, you know that. Well, there were those cave kids, remember? Ch- two thousand ten. That was in two thousand ten. But yeah, did you did you know that this like this past week in Pennsylvania, a dude got stuck in a mine for eight hours? Did you even know that? I think I oh, heard. I think a lot of people are anti mines. You have a lot of people in like coastal elite cities that'd be like, "Well, that serves them right for being down there and destroying Ooh. the environment." Ooh. I hope they all stay down there. Yeah. <laughs> the coal is making my environment bad. Yeah, and I hope everyone gets trapped down there. <laughs> I thought my environment seemed a little nasty. It must have been that guy kicking up dust. <laughs> but <laughs> it is a degree warmer today. Yeah, that guy died, by the way. The guy got stuck uh, in after eight hours. Eight hours. Yeah, come on. They found dude. him crushed. <laughs> Oh. He was crushed. Ah, he got crushed. Yeah. You. What do you get crushed by? A gigantic rock? <laughs> yeah. He was like <laughs> the was concept like, of time, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He began to ponder as soon as the lights went. Did he get crushed by a yeah. gigantic rock or a bunch of tiny ones? It was like child support payments crushed him. <laughs> <laughs> that he was sucks. like in, a, in, in some sort of mining equipment oh, that dude, that's got crushed. F- what? Yeah. Do you know if you're digging a trench and you're up to your waist and the trench collapses, you'll die? If you're up to your waist and dirt, disagree, I uh, do look it up. I'm OSHA 30. I'm OSHA 30 certified, bro. Yeah, but they're being overly safe. That's for like, oh, the, dude, no, I'm, that's because like the average person would die, but I wouldn't. Here's yeah, what happened. Not this part person. I'm saying. Dude, my core is Warning, too strong. Warnings are for the dude. average Joes, dude. Not exceptional you're, If people. you guys took dirt, you have no idea how much that weighs. If you're in like a, a four, four and a half foot trench. You get all of a sudden, it's like having thousands of pounds bro, dude, on you. Touch and your my heart right now. We, we have four hours of Wim Hof training, dude. Speak it up. It's never going to stop. You guys would do it. <laughs> Let's set it up then. Dude, I'll just shrimp out of that. Get the fuck out of here. You yeah. guys would fucking set die. Set it up. Say it to this guy, Tim. <laughs> show me. Show in me this coward. In 2017, he died in northwest Washington after being waist high in a trench and it collapsed. For you how guys, long? You guys... He's, look at his little You're ass dead, legs. You died, dude. You like tie. Yeah, let's see this. He had four, ch- grand, uh, four children and one grandchild. He was too old. Yeah, he was dude. too old to be doing the job. They have a monument. I'm of in my they prime. He's a big body. They have a monument of him in the town, dude. It's just well, it's waist, waist high up. on him <laughs> looks like it might be like five and a half feet. Yeah, he's a big body. <laughs> he's wait, dude. They have a monument. It's just his bust in the town. <laughs> <laughs> Let, never forget, dude. I'm telling you, that was the one thing from the OSHA 30 that I was like, whoa, that's crazy. I'm guaranteeing. Speak I on it, Noah. Oh, sorry. Can you hear me, please? Thank you. 
According to OSHA... Gardini, turn me the fuck up. <laughs> according to OSHA, trench collapses are rarely survivable. Did you know that <laughs> just now one cubic up. yard of soil weighs up to 3,000 pounds? Cubic yard. Yeah, yard's pretty big. I get that. Three but I'm three. in the cubic yard. Three dude. by three it's by not... three. And but then it's completely yeah, around you, and the pressure is like weighing on only you? up to my waist. Yeah, I'm. So, I'm bro, what I'm saying is I withstand it. Say goodbye guaranteed. to your legs, bro. <laughs> I didn't say. I didn't say anything about my legs. I said I would live. That's that. That's how I work out. How do you want to? How do you want to live? So you'd be man. you'd be a geo dude. You're saying. I barely want to live as a whole man. <laughs> 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 oh man, that's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> you should you're like the Black Alien Project. You should do the Geo Dude Project. Just be like cut me, dude. Just what's give the me Black Alien Project. You ever heard of the Black Alien Project, bro? No. Nah. What the hell? Dude. Enlighten us. The Black Alien Project it, I, I heard about this on Rogan actually. It was I listened to the Rogan where he talks to uh, more dates, more plates. They just talked about testosterone the whole time. Sick. Mm. So dude, it's my favorite shit to listen you to. You ever think about dropping your T levels and going to the doctor so you can get a supplement? Uh no, I, th I think I'm going to wait till I'm like super old and then just go like aggressive with Roy's Black Alien Project, dude. That guy's doing that to himself in real life. Oh, cool. Body modification. Body mod. He's cutting off his fucking fingers. Yeah, he's, he's taking the bones out of his hand. Dude, it's fucked up. A guy. Claws now. Yeah, dude. He has claws. This guy, he got like plates put in his skull and they got like, in, he like indented his skull and he, he looks like an alien now. It might be the most intricate blackface. Damn. Yeah. He went all the way. He probably wants to run for mayor. He's like, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> was he just like done getting pussy? He was like, I'm done. I got all, I got it all. Oh, I've seen. Nah, yeah, I've just seen this guy's head started, He's just getting started, dude. <laughs> I just stole guarding these lines. I thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought that. That's mine. <laughs> but yeah, he, uh, yeah, some, that's. You ever think about getting any body mods? Uh, just penile enlargement. That's it. It's fucking. It's, like, it's a penile enlargement. I was telling. What method that, would you go with? Aren't there a couple of different methods? Uh, I would go with the one where you cut that muscle, that cursed fucking muscle that keeps most of your dick inside your body, mm -hmm. and you just kind of slide it. You you know, boop, 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 take a little bit out, pop the handkerchief out a little. Oh, uh, okay. So, like so an like expanding back. curtain rod. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a it, tendon. Then, uh, there's a tendon that keeps your dick inside your body. Where, I mean, isn't that a cruel fucking joke, dude? I don't know, man. I got all this dick up in me, dude. dude. What's all this dick doing up around my motherfucking ass, dude? I need it out in the world. God, dude, I got fucking, I got a whole other dick. It's probably, it's probably, it's you know what? It's probably like the toasted bun. If you took all that dick out of your ass, something would be off. <laughs> I'd worry about that. Nobody would know what, but they'd be like, this dick isn't right. <laughs> it's soggy. Why is the dick soggy? Yeah. You get that last inch in, they're like, oh, is that like inside the body dick you're putting in me? Ugh. Like, uh, to go, or you just, maybe you wouldn't feel anything. It's not bad. It's just different. True. <laughs> just like a Freddy, like you have like the last portions, like a Freddy Krueger dick. Never gets skin. It's just muscle. Ugh. Just nightmare on Elm Street, dude. Yeah, but I, I would go I would go as big as possible and I would wouldn't care about functionality at all. Okay. I would just lay down with women and just show them my humongous <laughs> fake penis. <laughs> just be like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. That's all I would do. Yeah. But I wouldn't do it, obviously. I the only way I would do it is if I, I actually talked about this this weekend, if I survived my wife. So if I became a widower, that's the first move. All as much Penile money as I like, get, like I would spend as much money as that guy spent turning himself into a black alien, to getting oh, like dude. the most grotesquely large penis that doesn't work. Yeah, this is a dude in South America scene. that did that. He just like kept stretching his dick with his hand until it got so it's like it's like down to his ankle, and he he wants to get. I want to go record. bigger. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like he wants to get his world record for like biggest dick, but he can't. He refuses to prove his functionality. Why would you? What do you got to prove at that point? I mean, I don't know. Dude, you'd probably have to piss twice for the piss <laughs> to get all the way out of your dick. <laughs> you have to siphon it out. <laughs> yeah. Yikes, man. How he's, he's really got a dong down to his legs now? What do you start yeah, with? Yeah, but it's it's all just like or his gains. Yeah, it's like fat, it's horrifying like, skin. Yeah. yeah, he has to like. Can I see this man's he, penis? He has to like wrap it in socks. I've seen like yeah. the, the pictures of it before. Yeah, yeah I mean, because you guys don't gotta wrap your dick in socks. Because it chafes. It's so big. It's crazy. What do you I mean, mean yeah, wrap it in socks? Just... Dude, it's just he like he cuts holes in socks. Can I see? Yeah, pass that yeah. over here, please. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's got koozies on. Worth it. 
worth yeah. it. So worth it, dude. <laughs> Did you see the one of his hang? Was that? This is the one of his bulge in his pants. Oh Down my god! Knee. Is he wearing the same shirt in both pictures? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> this is probably the same photo shoot. <laughs> Fuck! I spent all my shirt money on getting my dick. Can we like timestamp that and put a picture of this man's penis, please? <laughs> yeah. God, I mean, we can't. Yeah, put the yeah, blur bulge, out the tip. Blur, blur that out, tip. but just show the length. Yeah. Good God, I can look at this all day. Dude, I love the Etsy <laughs> dick sleeve. <laughs> dude, that's absolute pride, dude. Him, side pride. He's like, no, get my side, get my dick from the side. God, dude, he's standing there like a general, dude. dude. That's the hang. Yeah. I want to Wait, paint is that he man. wearing socks and shoes, but his pants are off? Yeah. <laughs> obviously. Tight. Obviously. He's got penny loafers on. At that point, you can only wear baseball stare Those are yeah. his dick shoes. <laughs> yeah. Those are Mexican basketball shoes. <laughs> God damn. Oh, man. I mean, dude, would it be gay to start a sport called <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude? To start a sport called dick fighting, where like dudes, Mexican guys who've stretched their dick down to their knees, can just sit there and just fucking <laughs> battle boss each other. <laughs> That'd be a sick fight. Yeah. So all he has to do is prove that he can get erect. And he he refuses to do it. Yeah, why would he? I don't know. I mean he wants the record. If you want the record, you gotta play by their rules. No, he's going for soft. The, having the longest soft dick is the best record to break. <laughs> <laughs> hard dick is like, okay, dude, obviously your dick's hard. You have a boner. Who cares? Soft dick is the record. Is the Guinness book. Dude. Yeah. Some yeah. guy gets hard. Some guy gets hard and it's bigger. You're like, yeah, it's kind of fucking gay, dude. Why, is it, why are you all excited? <laughs> like, I stay soft as hell, dude. <laughs> Being sexually turned on is gay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Stay, Does the I biggest dick so in the world make you hard? You're gay. You're gay. <laughs> control yourself, dude. You're letting someone else control your body. That's fucked up. That's I stay weak. soft all the time, dude. No, I didn't damage my penis, dude, by stretching it down to my knees. I still love pussy, obviously. But he won't get hard. You don't have to get hard at that point. I just saw a picture where he looked kind of hard. I'll try to show you guys. Please, Joe. He's just holding it, though. He's holding He's it, squeezing like, the base. Up. That's his tail is all his time. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> not the base, table. though. He's, oh, I <laughs> oh think, yes, he's God. like... He really, he's wearing the TMZ same shirt in every picture. <laughs> I think it was one photo <laughs> shoot. The paparazzi. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. It looks like he's got some blood flow. That's a fake bone. That's, oh, yeah. that's, that's fake. definitely a fake boner. Fake Whoa, boner. dude. He looks he like might, he's in the he's he's on deck circle. I, think, <laughs> I, I genuinely think. <laughs> he's got a wait around. He's taking practice. <laughs> I genuinely think he just has one of those fake porn dicks that squirts like a gallon of milk. Oh, yeah. I think this dude might have Futanari, dude. <laughs> this dude might be a Futanari. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I love. Oh, watching, you, don't I love food, you don't know no. about Fuda? Nah. What's that? Ooh, man, it's uh it's a, a porn genre where like women wear penises and pretend they're real, and then it's an anime thing where they just grow them, but they're animated. They're not. I don't think they're real. They're just animated cartoons. I don't think that they really women in Japan can grow penises. Nah, that's junk. Yeah, I mean that's, that's junk. You know, women. You're, should... you're more. You were saying you're into kind of portly or stout women right now. I'm getting there, man. No, he said I'm going fat. back to my roots. He's in the full on fat. Yeah. What do you think about that? Dude, I think it's sexy. Really? Like now, well now that now that the government's trying to crack down on my fat bitches. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, bring them, bring them. Trying to save them. You that roll that comes like right up right up above the pant line, right mm-hmm. below the shirt. It's the sexiest thing on earth right now. When did that start occurring to you? Like I think when the C D C said that fat people are getting COVID. It's just funny to watch yeah. your like you fully inhabit your nature. Like, no, it's hot, fat chicks. Yeah, <laughs> all of them. All of them. Yeah, it's like last week. Last week is when I noticed that fat chicks were kind of hot. I don't really. You must be like a. Va- it must. What's the urge around them? It must be like a vampire around a neck, dude. It must be like. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get in there. I just want like. A, I just like lift up a roll and put my hand in. Dude, if you started sed- if you started seducing fat chicks like a vampire, that'd be the fucking best. <laughs> Do you want to be immortal? <laughs> Ma'am. I'm, I'm 800 years old. <laughs> uh, oh, that, that is genuinely one of the funniest stereotypes that black dudes love fat, fat white ladies. <laughs> it's, so, it's so silly. Yeah. And so true. It's, yeah. It's I, haven't, I, haven't fair, made it, I haven't made it there yet. I'm like... Right now, it's funny still, to see. Yeah, the, the brown, the brown fat ones are the ones that have uh, attracted me the most so far. Amen to that. Yeah, amen but, to uh, that. I've been, dude. I got bit by that bug a long time ago. Yeah. Oh my god. I still stand by that, dude. Making love to just a large woman. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I did it one time. Well, the, it, the problem is time. with large white chicks, you can kind of see their circulatory systems a little. If they're pale enough, you can kind of get a glimpse of like their prominent veins. Mm. You kind of get it. You get a little magic school bus action on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> but a big black lady. It's all mystery, dude. Yeah. You don't see any of that shit. It's the important part. When you see chicks' veins, it's kind of like, ugh. Yeah. Like when Man, the, the, boobs, the, the, you see like white chicks' boob veins. I'm always like. Man, it's, uh, the fat black chick that I was uh, banging back in the day, She like I didn't know if my dick was in ever. Perfect. Yeah. That's all you need. I mean, it was in something. <laughs> it was in something. Yeah. I came. Obviously. You know, but it was just like, I don't know. I couldn't handle, like, my, my ego couldn't handle not knowing whether or not I was fucking her. Uh, that sounds pretty fat. Yeah, she was fat. She was, a, she was a good one. She's the one, she's the type that I'm attracted to these days. I mean, imagine that, though. Anywhere. Just anywhere on the bod. Oh, God, that feels good. What's that? It's my torso. Dude. Oh, fuck. Dude. Could you imagine going down on a torso? Just, like, eating out a fucking torso? I would. <laughs> I would. Sounds amazing. Oh. Just randomly throwing your mouth around. No target. Yeah. Yeah. Just like fingering that like elbow fat. Just like fingering it. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. If I could do it all again, I'd go like four. I think that's what a Hawkeye, a Hawkeye is. It's like it represents like going down on fat chicks. Oh, uh, what? Like like in New Zealand when they're doing a haka. What's a haka? You know, when they're like... You know, yeah. At the end, the thing the where, where Dude. rugby teams dance at each other. That's what a haka is. You know what You've seen viral. I know what it is. Now I know yeah. what it is. They I mostly do it at like that. when like some guy dies, his football team comes and does a haka at his funeral. That makes sense to yeah. eat out his wife. Yeah. I mean, dude, <laughs> his <laughs> fat wife. To be fair, to be fair, I, I think there's a biological thing. If you went to like a country that was just like, you know, not doing that well, and they just the point where they don't have beautiful fat women. Mm -hmm. And you drop them like a like four hunch. The men would be like, I'm I'm getting that. They fly. Yeah. It would be beautiful to you. If you were in a place where like From above dude would look like ants carrying a grape away. <laughs> 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 like from high from the plane, like oh. <laughs> the <acceptor. laughs> The hive mind would take over, dude. We must transport this thing back. Nice. Oh my god. Yeah, that's undeniable, dude. Yeah, that's yeah. absolutely undeniable. Yeah, dude. I'm telling that that would be a sick reality TV show. But like today, what, we found a country where there's no fat ladies, so and we're we dropped, bringing, we're bringing one. Yeah, just a portly. We dropped the fattest Wendy's manager we could find <laughs> into a country with a made up name. <laughs> Dude. Did you, you ever see a Vice documentary of people with different lifestyles than us, and like they pull in a giant fish, and the whole town just like chops it up and takes a piece home? <laughs> They're all fucking the fat lady a little bit. <laughs> on a fucking beach. I called back of the neck. That's, I got back of the neck. Different parts. Of her. It would. It would call. It would. Dude, it would disrupt the geopolitics of like the neighboring tribes. It, things would fuck. Like the guy, the leader oh, would get assassinated. And like the next, <laughs> it would disturb the entire, it would be chaos. entire like dude Don Cheadle would be in a movie about something that happened during this a very serious like awesome movie. <laughs> mm. she's the most beautiful woman I've ever seen yeah yo where, where are you posting up on this fat bitch to start fucking where are you posting I got back in the neck where are you going it'd be like 101 Dalmatians dude uh, yeah, yeah I get him where I fit <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I'd probably just fap to the scene. Just, I'd, 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 I'd probably fap to the scene. Oh man, just a bunch of guys with very yellow eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> Patience. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, they all got like button-down shirts that look like they were dug off of corpses. <laughs> but, the, but their names are all like Steven and shit. <laughs> Steven Kim. I'm not gonna yeah, make up fully, a fake African name. That would suck. <laughs> I mean, dude, it could happen in like, you know. Oh, man. It yeah. could happen elsewhere. Edward. Yeah. Oh, Edward. <laughs> it was, my name was Edward. <laughs> Edward. <laughs> it could happen in like Eastern Europe. Yeah. Sure. No, yeah. But yeah, I, I, it wouldn't be as joyous as a celebration, though. Yeah. You know? 
they would be like, oh, like if you brought a fucking <laughs> the, the celebration would be so joyous. <laughs> Just a bunch of dudes in like very thick cable knit sweaters and they're going like a circle around her and like stomping really hard. <laughs> <laughs> different different fat bitch celebrations around the world. <laughs> the government would intervene, dude. The government would be like, we're getting her out of here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the funniest. I mean, it's actually it's a horrible human tragedy, but that one book I read about, I think it was Darfur, like the government, the government, I, I don't know why people, they think the government says people made this up. But they would like come down and like Blackhawks and just like shoot villages from the sky. And, and then like everyone was like, well, fuck this. We'll go to Kenya then. Government's like, we didn't fucking shoot them. They're just walking, dude. They're just leaving and walking just because they're being dickheads. Like they were coming down and attacking. And I think I think it was yeah, it was Sudan. The government was sending like Arabian dudes. Be like, right. yo, go take those lands because we don't really fuck with those guys because they want independence. So, like Arabian dudes would come and just like chop you up on horses. Then the government was sending like fucking helicopters to attack you. And they like, they walked all, all these dudes walked to Kenya being like, yeah, government attacked us. Government's like, no, we that's, didn't. That's classic <laughs> government though. Like, True. Remember, remember when I was like, migrants were coming, like the caravan was walking up north. And yeah. And like, asked, like, are the, the government mistreating these fucking emigrants? And they'd be like, nah, dude, they're just gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyone that leaves our country is fucking gay. Let it be known right now. Dude, turn them back. <laughs> Don't let him. <laughs> We're going to give him a whooping, dude, when they get yeah. back here. Yeah, it was so funny just to be like, we didn't do that to them. Yeah. Like, they, like, walked for, like, two It wasn't years. that bad. That's what it was. It wasn't that bad, dude. We didn't shoot at them with helicopters. We hovered over them and threatened them that we'd have Arabian guys cut their heads off. From horses. Mm -hmm. As much as I hate governments, I admire how they move and get down. Like, I was watching, you see those hearings the other day with Dr. Fauci, and they were accusing him of the shit that he did. And he was like, nah, I didn't do that. You were talking about the very new ones when they hit him with the documents? Yeah. A random man Paul was Dude, getting them. This is gonna come off of YouTube. Watch out! Oh, yeah, absolutely oh, yeah. wiped. My bad. It's okay. Dr. But Archie's a god. It he is absolutely <laughs> god. Yeah. So when you're, I think you're describing like that thing they got from DARPA where they like turned down this fucking document pisses me the fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, apparently they like linked it to like military funding. The military said like, Nah, bro, we're not doing that. That's GOF or something. Something yeah. like that's the nature of it. That's so sick to just be like. Nah, that thing that you have evidence of me doing? No. Nah. I mean, dude, the fucking government can take files and go, and eh, eh, with black marker, and be like, <laughs> no one can read that shit. If you want to read it, you can read the parts that we didn't take. It's crazy. Every time I see him, I'm like, yes, dude, I wasn't going to read this anyway. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> like, speed reader. This, this is missing crucial information. Well, it's funny when they're like, it. we need to unseal the JFK dot. Like, they're going to get it and be like, yeah, yeah, the CIA shot him in the head. And then they'll be like, yeah. Yeah, well, here it is. No, yeah, we didn't. They got him. <laughs> 50 years ago, anyway. So what are we up to now? And be like, we're telling you the truth right now, right? <laughs> don't be fucking around. Yeah, that's why I don't That's why don't I don't be fucking around. Yeah, I, I love that like, they just unsealed the document about AI. It's like, I, I love okay. the government. I love it. You like the, I me too, the obviously, government. dude. I, any government institution, it's just if they say anything, my brain just goes, of course, yes, yes, of course. They this is how I have our best interest in mind. Ever since I had COVID, I was just kind of like, you know, who rules the fucking leader of Japan, the leader of China. <laughs> Sorry, that was. <laughs> <laughs> it's not one of my better moments, dude. It's Whoa. late. I should be sleeping. Whoa. <laughs> Japan just uh, took down vaccine mandates, allegedly. That's what's up. Pretty sick. Yeah, that was. Uh, this, this is late, guys. You know, you what I mean? what, where are we at hour wise? Yeah, let's just keep this at an hour. That last two minutes, we don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to say that I just all of a sudden was like totally alleged to like the president, the communist leader of China. Ever since I had COVID, I was just like, that Jeep Kaping is a <laughs> oh, fuck. You know what? <laughs> That's his name, isn't it? Jinping or something? Jeep Kaping. <laughs> Matt, I'm come on, know. dude. <laughs> God damn it. All right. I uh um, gotta call the episode Jeep Kaping. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's on to something there. That was a joke I was trying to make, but it's 922 and usually I'm sleeping. <laughs> um all right, let's get in the let's slide in the fucking page, bro. There, we got what uh I got a couple things. So I gotta I gotta talk a little a couple little things. What do you get? You guys have something to pop in here? Are you are you guys going away? Are you guys doing uh Oh me and Rainey oh, and yeah. Column? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, gonna we're be at the stand next week on the twentieth. And we're in Albany on the twenty first. Just look, just look up our fucking Twitter bios and, and buy tickets to our cool ass show that we're gonna do. And then, uh, oh, dude, I'm with, I'm doing a show with Gardini on Friday at oh, Soul Jules. Yeah. What? Oh, Sid too. Yeah, 
Hell yeah. 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 This Friday. Yeah, this Friday. Soul Jolt. 14th, January 14th. Check us out. Nice. Yeah. Sixth February and 4th uh, and 5th, me and Matt will be in Indianapolis. Big. Yeah, we just added yeah. the late show too. So I think there's like 11 tickets left. They might be gone. Damn. They might be gone. Also, uh, I, so we'll be at, uh, also we'll be at Cap City in Austin, Texas on Friday, March 18th, Saturday, March 19th. And I also just added a late 1030 show Damn. to Austin. Wow. And we're going to get it in. Bana- this is big. This is huge, dude. Bananas Comedy Club in North Jersey. April 29th, April 30th, show Friday, two shows Saturday. That's the big leagues, Wait, bro. am I coming with you for that? If you'd like. Fuck yeah. I texted you about it. You didn't respond. <laughs> Dude, Actually, no, no, I didn't. I texted Gardini. I was like, I'll tell Sonny when I see him. Yeah. Sorry yeah, to slight yeah, you. Yeah, my bad. My it's crazy. Yeah, you know, sometimes you get late. Gardini's it's, supposed to let me know. Like, yeah, it's, it's late. Sometimes we say things, dude. It's, That's my B-day. It's Gardini's B-day, and he's still going to be working. Yeah. You're going to be working on your B-day? Yeah, dude. I never take a day off. Damn, bro. Straight baller. Grinding. So, yeah. So, Bananas. That's the big one, dude. Up in North Jersey. Bananas Comedy Club. That's going to be sick. Very big, dude. And I think we'll have the links. We're going to put the links in the... Links in the show description down below. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Patreon. Let's go. Yeah.